Arsenal Fan TV, I am happy to announce that we have finally signed a striker. A striker, Lucas Perez. You all there going, who? Who? Lucas who? <laughs> Lucas Perez, I know, it's not Higuain, it's not Lacazette, it's not Suarez. It's Lucas Perez. And I know that some people out there might be a bit underwhelmed and thinking to themselves, who the hell is this guy? But listen, we never know. This guy could be, you know, he, he scored 17 goals for Deportivo La Coruna last year. And he could be quality. You know what I mean? It's not every time you buy a player and it's ready-made. Sometimes you've got to buy a player and that player develops into being a real top-class player. And certainly, this guy's goal-scoring record is excellent. Now, I know he hasn't played for Spain yet, which again, you think to yourself, well, if he's that good, how comes he hasn't played for Spain? But he had a blinding season last year for Deportivo La Coruna. Um, at one stage, he, called, he scored seven consecutive goals, beating a record that was recently held by Brazilian legend Bebeto. And he was being chased by Everton. Barcelona were looking at him, so they wouldn't look at him if he was a crap player. So it's a striker. And it's somebody who gives competition to Olivier Giroud, puts him on his toes. So he knows that week in, week out, he's going to have to play well or he won't be in. He's quick. He's got a lot of pace. He's a very, very good finisher. And I'm just happy, really, that we've signed a striker. And at that price that we've signed him for, I think it's low risk as well. If he doesn't perform, we can move him on and get back a lot of the money that we pay for him. And then maybe next year, go for that next level striker. If he is good, he can develop into being something very special at Arsenal. And if he can score 17 goals for Deportivo, what can he do at Arsenal when he's going to have guys like Mesut Ozil behind him, Santi Cazola, Granit Xhaka, guys like that assisting him. So for me, it's a positive signing. I know it's not what we all wanted. We all wanted to see. I personally would have loved to have seen Lacazette, but obviously the fees and all that has gone haywire. I would have loved to have seen Higuain, the fees again. And if we then start looking beyond that, we have to admit and be honest to ourselves that there are not a lot of real top quality strikers available out there at the moment that you can buy. So we've got this guy, Lucas Perez. I, for one, am going to get right behind him. We needed a striker. It was absolutely essential that we signed one. We've seen that the experiment of playing Alexis up there hasn't worked. So for me, I'm pleased. I'm hoping that this guy is going to be a top, top player. Be patient with him. That's what I say to the fans. Be, give him a chance. Let's see what he, you know, don't expect him to, on his debut, score a hat-trick. Give him a chance to grow into the team and you never know, he could be a top quality player. Remember last year when we signed El Nene for 5 million and there were some people going, El Nene? He's already proving us all wrong. He's turning into be a really, really good player. Did you know who Patrick Vieira was when we signed him? Did you know who Nicolas Anelka was when we signed him? So let's wait and see. But I, for one, here on Arsenal Fan TV, want to say welcome along to Arsenal, Lucas Perez. Anything can happen. If Leicester can win the league, anything can happen. Quadruple, but yeah, it was, it was nice. Uh, quadruple. Are Tottenham going to win the league? Think, only beaten Wolves, Do you think, and Tottenham have beaten who? And yet you said they're going to win the league. Oh, you said they're going to win listen, the league. Not 